My second day in Paris itself meant visiting the Arc and the Champs de Lille. I couldn't wait. This was going to be a solo day for me, so I decided to take the train on in, went on into the station, checked in, and hopped onto the RER train from Disney on down into Paris itself. Such a fun trip, it meant basically 45 minutes of being able to relax on my own, to enjoy it, and just be able to have a good time looking around the countryside. A little bit of rail footage for my rail fans there. What's really neat is living where I do now in the middle of Missouri, we don't have the trains like this anymore. You can go into the big cities here in the States and New York and Chicago and LA and ride them, but not so much in Southwest Missouri where it's basically foothills, and not a whole lot else. So I had a great time looking around, watching the views, seeing the countryside and some of the little villages and towns that we went by all the way into Paris itself. What was fun is when you arrive in Paris, the train pulls up, you hop out, you walk past some billboards and stores in the station, head up the escalator to come out of the subway area, and what's the first thing you see? The Arc de Triomphe. So there's the Arc. There's the Triomphe. The Napoleon. So anybody want to make a mad dash to it? I kind of stood there and marveled at the traffic a little bit because we don't have roundabouts in the States for the most part. Especially not one like this with all the cars going every which way. And I was amazed how they didn't have accidents around here. But everybody seemed to kind of find their way around. I then took a minute to kind of look around where I had first come out to and check out the streets and old architecture. You don't see stuff like this in the States. That's about where I came out and of the subway. And then, of course, this other walkway? Well... That's how you head down to the Ark. Rather than try to make that mad dash across the roundabout, you actually get to walk through this whole tunnel area. It was lit up with diagrams and displays and just a really nice, neat little walkway and kind of an introduction to it. You can actually buy your tickets down here as well to get in. And then once you're through, you come up and... I happened to arrive during a ceremony laying down a wreath at the tomb of the unknown soldier, which was kind of a neat thing to be able to witness. You see the band there ready to play and waiting, and it also gave me a little bit of time to look over the Ark itself and all the engravings and the names. Now, of course, Napoleon actually built this as a war memorial back when he was ruling France. But you can see the incredible architecture, the sculptures, the carvings and engravings that are all part of this. Just amazing to look at. It really is.
The ceremony, as I said, was for a brief laying at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, a memorial service. And while I didn't actually get to see them lay the wreath, it was still kind of neat to see all the flowers and everything afterwards. But once that was done, it was time to get into the rest of the line and actually head into the Ark itself and get ready to head up to the top. So these are the stairs up the Ark de Triomphe. Long spiral stairway. So when you finally get up those long spiral steps, it's a lot. This is what waits you. And of course, yes, there's another stairway up to the actual top. But at least a little sitting area to kind of let you get your breath back. Because you're going to need it. Heart condition or no. <laughs> so up one more level, and you end up here with, of course, the gift shop. Gotta have the gift shop. And a nice little spray. Couple walls, and then the stairway up to the rooftop is right over there. But we're finally close. It's a lot of stairs. Just a little look at the gift shop. So when you get up to the top, <clears throat> that is where you come up. Landmarkers. Mm -hmm. You can walk all the way around the top. And here's the last side of the arc. You can see out. And there is downtown Paris. Almost hidden up here is this monument to unknown soldiers. With the various fighting uniforms that the French soldiers have worn. What you don't realize until you read the bit in the middle here is that this is all World War I uniforms. And what's kind of interesting is when you look at the center podium, it describes each uniform and what unit wore it, but it also shows you what countries fought and how many soldiers they contributed. And then you start looking at these numbers, and the top number is how many soldiers, the bot or the middle is how many died, and the bottom is how many were wounded. And look at these numbers for Russia and France, as well as Great Britain. And they swing over to Germany and Austria, Hungary, Turkey. Just incredible losses. Yeah, it's not. 
traffic for you. And if you come to the Ark, if you come here, don't try to walk across that. That's suicidal. I just watched two girls nearly get killed. There's these wonderful things here called stairways that go underneath. You see this group coming up? Where does it come out? Well, if you look over there, it's right there. So, walking down the Champs de and lots of shops, lots of neat things to see. Find something, I'm not sure how I feel about it though. Because as much as I love it, I don't know that Five Guys is appropriate. <laughs> oh, and yes, there's a Burger King as well. So many neat sights walking down the street. Here is a taxi that was out there, which reminded me a lot of the tuk-tuks I used to ride in in Bangkok when I visited there. And you could just see the malls and the shopping and the people everywhere. Just a really neat experience to walk down. And, and then there's the Americanisms. And yes, I did eat lunch there. I'm sad. I love looking at all the little gift shops with the trinkets and the Eiffel Towers everywhere, of course. And Peugeot's. And, ooh, wouldn't you like to have one of those? That was kind of neat to see. I wonder how they do a test drive. And then there was this place. A quick burger or quality burger. I'm not sure what it was. Hey. Want some undies? <laughs> I the name. And of course, there's other souvenir shops with pictures and postcards. And uh, This is actually a pharmacy where you can buy your medicines. And then you have to have the bakeries with the pastries and the sandwiches and everything else. So what's all the honking? Well, take a look at these people hanging out the windows. <laughs> this is something you don't see in the States. I wonder what's going on. So that's all the honking you're hearing. And they're literally hanging out the windows. It's kind of crazy. Anyways, I'm at the Champs de Lille, uh, and finished up with the Arc de Triomphe earlier. Hilarious. How about free bike rentals? That's right, there's just bikes sitting out here that people can come up and borrow to head on down the shop. Got these, and here's another one. Right there, just sitting in the middle of the sidewalk. Apparently they're just free for the taking and using while you need it.
And after all of that, it was time to hop back onto the RER train and head back up towards Disney. It had been a lot of fun. I enjoyed my time out there and walking around and seeing the views and the sights and doing some shopping and everything else. Had a blast. I just wish I'd had more time because there was so much more I would like to see and so many sites I didn't get a chance to. But I was grateful for the time there because this is a once-in-a-lifetime thing that I never thought I would get to experience. Thanks so much for joining me on the ride and the trip, and I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>